Hello, in this tutorial we're going to see how to send data and receive from an HTML file with JavaScript and jQuery to a Flask server using Python. We will start by describing a little bit the layout. In this case, uh, we're going to have two inputs and the result that is over here. I'm going to refresh it to make it clean. Uh, there is a button to send the numbers and uh, some additional information. We are going to have a section for a message. We're going to see when sending or returning the messages. We will specify a little bit more of it. We describe in the head the jQuery DSN where we have the we're going to download the library from here later on we have a variable with the IP address in this case I am I am running flask in the same computer the default flask port this op num variable is going to be the one that we are sending from this HTML file to the flask server we defined some default um, values over here, in this case the key sum, which will hold two numbers, 3 and 4. We describe it, or we're going to send it, in a dictionary form, because of this com its compatibility with a JSON format. Later on, we have the function update bar that will get the values from these n1 and n2 fields uh, turn them into floats we could also do this in the flash server we are just doing the, them this here and uh, we are putting these values in the up num variable with the sum key following this we have the function of jQuery in order to continuously be analyzing if something happens or not. It's, this uh, doesn't work only at once. Later, we, we will evaluate if this sum ID, which represents the button over here, is going to be clicked or not. If so, we have this up there variable over here that will provide the path for the application or function that is going to be executed in the flask server we define some default messages for the sending and receiving the data later if this uh, send button is pressed we're going to update the values inside the variable that we are going to send we are going to see it in the console we will show the default sending messages in the message division div and here we are sending this we define a post communication the url url is going to be going to be composed by the server we defined earlier and this app directory or path. We turn our dictionary variable into a JSON format. We specify that we are sending a JSON data type. And when returning the data from the Flask server, we are defining that this data is going to be called data as a variable. We're going to see it in the console and this data is also going to have the format of a, uh, a JSON, JSON format, and a key sum will hold the result of this, of the sum. Also, the key msg will hold a message that we will define in the Flask part. And everything and the default message will be shown in the message div. 
So let's take a look at the Flask server code. We define the libraries from Flask, the request and justify. This is the default way to start the Flask server. For this case, we will concentrate on this part. This is the decorator to extend the library from app root. And we're saying here that if there is a data sent to the path slash sum, we're going to execute the following function. In this case, sum num, which will specify first, just show that we are entering here, request.form is getting the data and putting them in the variable RRF. For the following explanation of the next lines, I'm going to run the Flask server. For this, we define the Flask app name that is going to be the name of this script and Flask run to execute it. Here, is the loopback we have defined also in the JavaScript HTML and the default port. And just to explain the following parts, I'm going to send something here. I will change 8, 20, and click. The data is sent, and we see here the following. Some function, we have defined this here. Later on, we have this immutable multidict that is actually what we are receiving from this HTML file. We can see that our data is actually as a key of this dictionary. So we are going to extract this key to use it as the data. For this, we define this loop over here that basically we're getting the last key in this dictionary to transform it as we our data variable. Later on, we see the data. For this case, sum the dictionary in a dictionary form and this array of 8 and 20. We turn this JSON format into a dictionary and we see the keys of the dictionary for Python. In this case, there is only the sum key. So from here, here is the easy, easier part for Python. We just establish a counter and zoom over all the elements of the array. Later on, we define a dictionary with carrying that the result in sum D in with a sum key and a message we define over here some performed later on we transform this dictionary into the json format and this last line over here is to allow the communication between some server elsewhere in this case this javascript html file is not in the flask server could be anywhere else like in a block or in another application. And if we were going to hold this HTML file with a Flash server, this last line wouldn't be required. And later on, we just return the response that we have processed. And we can see that actually we get the result and we can update this with new numbers.